Hey, what's up, guys? I really hope you're doing good and having a good time. So, this is Khaldi back on KKCA with another bowling video, as usual. I'm gonna try to make this video really quick because dinner is served and I'm so hungry, I'm starving. So, yeah, but just but just before we start with the video, I just want to share with you this. Yeah, this banner that I was working on. And it's not really a lot of work, but I can definitely show you how to create this in my next video if you want to. So if you want, you can just really comment and say, yeah, please, please, man, or not even say please, do the video, okay? And I have like a couple of color presets and color correction shits going on. So let me show you how it will look like. Yeah, you can have it look like this, or this, or this or this or this it's really up to you and how if you want things to look like sorry about this right, let's just close photoshop and start working with after effects so yeah now we have our footage ready we wanna import our footages sorry about the shit that's going on yeah import our two footages and everything else to photoshop uh, after effects sorry and create a new composition yeah and make it like 12 19 20 by 1080p and set the resolution to whichever one you want i went for 60 frames per second and the duration of the composition is 10 seconds okay and import, import i mean shit i mean and drag and drop your footage on the timeline and then if you want to sequence them perfectly one after another you can just click on the first one and then the second one go to animation keyframe assistance and then sequence layers then make sure nothing is selected and then click ok and it will be automated okay and then then you want to go like where your uh, first first footage is going to end and then click on P yeah, before this, you, you'll need to, yeah, you'll need to load, like, the effects and presets, but it, it's real, it will take a lot of, some time for me to do this, so I have, I'm going to do it by the, using this console created by Video Copilot, and it's called, F, con, F, console effects, or I don't know, yeah, so I'll link to it anyway, if you want to use it. Yeah, so you want to load motion tile okay on this one and on the other one too make sure to click on mirror edges sorry make sure to make sure like this mirror edges is selected and then your output width is set to 500 and the basic concept and approach to this mathematic equation that it's so easy yeah like you have your footage and the output output width is like 100 okay that means a full footage so if you set it like 200 you'll not get a full footage you're gonna get like 100 here and 50% of the footage here and 50 over here so you always want to double the number so if you want like another clip to appear then you just have to input the double of num the number doubled like 200 instead of 100 that will add both one here and one here and we added like 500 so it will be two fridges here and two fridges here and we don't really care about the fridges over here yeah anyway so yeah this is how you're gonna do it and then click on p go to position okay then let me zoom in like yeah you can zoom in and then your timeline and move this so go like bef one second before your clip ends then set a keyframe of the positioning position you can just click p and it will bring up the position then click on a keyframe okay so click on a keyframe like this keyframe and then go to the end of your clip sorry it was like let me delete both of these keyframes so yeah let me load up my positioning of this one so you're gonna have it like this and then position the keyframe the position go to the end you can click on a click on all the shift keys so it will snap to the end then create another other keyframe okay and then you want to drag this 
like this and you can just hit uh, the shift key and click click keep holding on it keep click pressing it then you're gonna see it like this and it means that your layer is moving is like you're editing it fast yeah you see the difference this is without shift and this is with shift okay so the process is much faster then you want to go ahead and click create on both of these keyframes click on f9 to make them easy ease but i'm not gonna do that because it will stop recording and i really don't want that to happen so yeah just a second sorry about this create click create select both of these sorry i don't know i'm so hungry <laughs> yeah sorry then go to easy ease you see it's f9 okay f9 and clear make sure that they are both selected then go to the graph editor right click and make sure you're editing the speed speed graph sorry speed graph okay then make sure to select both of them here and try to create this sort of curve sharp curve okay and then do the same for this one p sorry sorry so yes you you're going to click on p for positioning then make sure you're editing the position yeah okay set a keyframe here another keyframe here and move the move it and then make sure to select both of them shit sorry make sure you have them both selected and then go to the graph editor make sure they are both selected then create the same type of curve only mirrored yeah so it's like so the other one is the speed is like this slow so 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 and then fast then slower okay <clears throat> and you will get something like this let me play this back for you Oh shit, sorry about this. I think that the keyframe at the end is a little bit offset. So create position. Okay. Okay, so now it looks a lot better. Just make sure the keyframing is set like to, to the re very end of the video and your animation may not like have motion blur so you want to enable that on both of these otherwise you'll not have motion blur and once more in the composition as well then once you're done you want to click control a control m or command m yeah or oh, shit i don't know what's happening <laughs> yeah so add it pre-compose pre-render yeah and then go to here and then AVI replace it with quick quick time yeah quick time and then format options and set it to H264 then the quality to 80 okay and then if you don't have quick time then you can just download it from Apple store then install it if you have Windows then it should work too yeah okay and then set the set the output the, the output and then render it that was it for today's video if you like this video then make sure to leave a comment and yeah and a, and a like as well and see you in the next video guys thank you for tuning in